We are at the West Cincinnati Supercharger. Uh, just did uh, a 100% charge. Uh, we're on our way to Knoxville, Tennessee. So this is the 76,000 mile range test. A little bit over, but got to work with what I got to work with. Outside temperature is 29 degrees Fahrenheit. And we charged to... Um, come on. No, wrong screen. 260 rated miles, which it seems to be holding around there for now. We added 198 miles to the pack this time, and uh, didn't mind doing a 100% because we're going to try and skip. It was a Lexington, I think. <laughs> Say hi, Granny. Oh, Granny's tired. And look at this little one. Someone's snuggling with Granny until we're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's move on over to Tesla Spy. And um, pack capacity, car thinks, is 75.7 .7 kilowatt hours. And it thinks we charged to 75.7 .7 kilowatt hours. Total lifetime discharge is 34.755 megawatts. Total lifetime charge, 37.579 megawatts. Despite the graph, pack balance is pretty good at 6 millivolts. That's the best it's been in a while, although it's starting to go a little higher uh, now that uh, we stopped charging and it's settling. Uh, but one thing I will note again is uh, we only charged to 99.5%. Um, it did not go to 100%. Pack temperature is 95.8 degrees Fahrenheit of a high. And at the highest point of this charging session, we did hit about 113 degrees. And the main cooling fans were going because we've already done about 450 miles. So that pack was nice and hot. So that's it. Uh, we might may or may not be doing another range update on our way home from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee.